So for fans of the channel, for all the videos that I've put out, which one was the most impactful to you in terms of changing the way you've traded for the better permanently? And was it one of these? Because I have a feeling that when it's all said and done, you're not going to realize it now, but when it's all said and done, the one coming up right now might just be your number one. So stay tuned. It's not the most fun thing to talk about, but it is probably the most important thing we talk about in terms of trade psychology. Because losses happen, uh, they happen all the time, and when they do, it causes us to react in ways we should not react, which is often the very first domino in terms of completely ruining everything we have built. And you may not need this video right now, but you are going to need it. And you're going to be glad it's here because you're going to need a resource to go back to when things are not going your way. Because this game is full of losses. And there's that old saying that only 10% of life is what actually happens to you. The other 90% is how you react to it, which is very, very true. And because it's true, this video here is going to be paramount to the way you trade. And I wanted to put this video out now because in the summertime, um, I've said it so many times, it's got to happen in the summertime. I'm going to put out the prop firm video talking about the firm that I'm a part of and maybe another recommendation. I want to give you a couple different options if I can. Um, but a lot of you claim that you're ready to go right now. And a lot of you are just waiting for that video to come out because you feel like by then you're going to be ready. And that's awesome. I mean, the, my number one goal for putting this channel up in the first place was to make career forex traders out of you regardless if that's for a firm or other people's money or just for your own money however you plan on doing this almost nobody out there who trades forex actually wants to do it just as a hobby you know if they had it their way they would do it professionally uh, but what i really don't want to happen is for you to fail as soon as you get there because that can happen and it can happen very easily because this whole thing is a completely different shift in mentality from where you were before, just demo trading. Now, don't get me wrong. It shouldn't be. You should be even keeled across the board. But I promise you, once you get there, it's going to be. And especially from a trading psychology standpoint, which is one of, if not the most important things in trading, I want to get you as ready for this as I possibly can. And one of the best ways I can do that is talking about losing because it takes its toll on you in so many ways and it's going to take its toll on you differently once you get to the pro level. It took its toll on me tremendously when I first went pro because I had this, you know, I got one shot to make this right mentality. And so those losses hit me so much harder than they did before. And it caused me to get way off track from what I should have been doing. And I almost lost my chance. And I don't want that to happen to you. And if I can eliminate this learning curve from what's, go what's invariably going to happen to you once you go pro, you're going to be that much stronger going forward. Right away, my account went down fast and hard early. And I have, had given myself a huge hole to have to dig myself out of. And I finally did. But man, I would really like to go back in time and make it so that hole never came. I would have been a lot further ahead in a much shorter amount of time had it been the case. And a lot of people dig a hole like that and then never find their way out of it. I don't want this happening to you. I thought I was one of the most mentally and emotionally strong traders there was. I thought I was bulletproof until the time came for me to really get on the big stage and show what I could do. And right from the jump, I fell apart. So I'm going to do my best to try to get you to avoid this little trap or to hopefully mitigate it going forward. So in this video, I'm going to make sure you're testing your system out properly. All right. A lot of what's going to happen in the future has to do with what you are doing right now. You're going to see how this all ties together. Um, but we're also going to talk about how losing in Forex affects us because it's going to happen, whether we're testing, whether it's for real and we need to understand what's going on in our heads 
so we can better diagnose it and fix these problems going forward. You know, we have to identify the problem first. You have to understand why it's happening or else you can't really fix it. And then we're going to talk about how you need to approach all of this from this point, you know, this point in time when you're watching this video going forward. All right. Uh, but the first part of this is the testing part. Now, your testing needs to be absolutely clinical. I think a lot of you are just kind of arbitrarily going through the testing phase. I think you're skipping key points. I don't think you're recording the data as meticulously as you need to be. Man, if I could go back and do this part again, too, I would pay so much more attention to the back testing and forward testing part of it. Because if I had done that, then I could have pretty much just let my system run and taken emotions completely out of it. But there were holes in the testing part of my game, too. And I want to make sure this doesn't happen to you either. Testing is so big, traders, and if you're not taking the time to do it the right way, it's going to hurt you later. Back testing should be very thorough. Don't just take indicators and kind of be like, okay, that was a win, that was a loss. No, measure this shit. You have everything you need, or almost everything you need. You definitely have enough to see if what you have in front of you would have been a win or a loss. And I did a podcast and a blog. I'm going to link the blog below because the blog is very comprehensive and it shows you a really efficient way to backtest to where you're going to be able to backtest better than anybody out there. Because if you don't get this first part right, it's going to end up screwing up everything you do afterwards. Because the forward testing part should be exactly like trading real money. And if you didn't backtest right, the forward testing is not going to come out right either. It all starts right here. And I'm going to link that blog down below. And I can tell you right now, the very next podcast I do on Monday, episode 42, is going to be about forward testing. I want to leave no stones unturned here. And we're going to talk about forward testing a little bit in this video, but I'm going to go even deeper into it because if you guys don't get these parts right, you're completely screwed down the road. If you're lazy here, it's going to show up and it's going to expose you when it's actually time to trade for real. If you didn't read over your script very carefully, and if you didn't rehearse your lines a lot to the point where it was completely natural to you, when you get on the big stage, you're in trouble. People are watching, and your real money's on the line. And you're about to be exposed. And it is really going to suck if you had to put in all of that work only to be exposed and fall apart once it's actually showtime. So let's go a bit deeper into this. When it comes to backtesting, again, look at that blog I did. Uh, if you haven't followed that structure, I don't think you're backtesting optimally. Um, at least give it a look and see if backtesting that way is better than the way you're doing it right now. A lot of you haven't even seen this blog, so uh, certainly click that link in the description. And then when you are backtesting, <laughs> Don't act like you haven't done this because you get so excited over these brand new indicators you're testing and how well they appear to work that a lot of times we look at the losses it gave us and we figure out reasons why we would not have taken that trade. Does that sound familiar to anybody? I can't be the only one that's done this. And you're sitting there looking at it and you run into a situation where there would have been a pretty bad loss and then you sit there and try to talk your way out of why you would have taken that trade. You're like, well, no, I, this happened here, this happened there. There was just a news event that came out. I probably wouldn't have been in that trade. So let's just mark it down as eh, that just never happened. This is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. You should record every single loss. You should be more diligent on writing down the losses than you were the actual wins. Um, but we don't do this because we get excited and then we do the opposite. But even if you do this and you find a system that appears to work really, really well, just know that once you start forward testing it, your results will not be anywhere near as high as what you got on back testing. This is very sobering and shocking news because we allowed ourselves emotionally to get so high during the back testing phase. I mean, I get emails and YouTube comments all the time. They're like, wow, I just found something that gives me an 80% win rate and I made, you know, 250% you know, year over year return when I back tested it. All right, look, <laughs> get ready to crash and crash hard emotionally once you start forward testing your system out. 
because you still might have something really, really good. But hindsight compared to reality is going to be completely different and you are in for a shock. So just understand that part first before you move forward. Don't let it deter you from going all the way with your forward testing, but just know it's not going to be these crazy unheard of results. If it seemed too good to be true, it's because it was. But once you've gotten over that emotional hurdle and you're in the forward testing phase now, like I said, we're going to go deep on this in the podcast, but you have to trade like it's for real. Uh, if you don't do this now, when are you going to do it? You need to treat this like an audition because it very well might be. If you find a really good system on your first shot, the very first time you forward test something, and forward testing takes 6 to 12 months, if this is really the best system that you have come up with and a system that you want to go forward with, you might have the results you need to show clients, to show a firm. So these results have to be as real as possible. And that includes not hitting the reset button if things don't go your way. If you start with a $50,000 demo account and right off the bat you start taking a string of losses and now you're down to $47,000, $46,000, don't hit the reset button. Keep going. Because what's going to happen is if you do hit the reset button and then you compile these really good results, those results are fraudulent. Those results do not mirror real life. And you are being disingenuous to the people you are shopping these results to. And it's going to expose you in the end because you cannot hit the reset button with real money. So don't do it. You must produce genuine results here. Losses are just going to have to be losses. If you go six to 12 months and this is not really the system that you want to ride with and you're not happy with the results you're getting, fine, deal with it. You're going to have to start over. It's a huge bummer. I get that. But the bigger bummer, the much bigger bummer would be if you just went ahead with this system anyway and traded real money with it or other people's money with it and the results you had were completely fraudulent and unrealistic. That's worse. Six to 12 months out of your life, you can actually hit the reset button there and try a brand new system over again. And if you're not getting genuine killer results from the system you have right now, that is exactly the move you need to make. The move you don't want to make is to produce fraudulent results and then get your ass exposed once it actually comes time to trade in real life and you can't hit the reset button. You can't rely on fraudulent results and you're screwed. But you can prevent a lot of this from the start and that's kind of the theme of this video, kind of an ounce of prevention equals a pound of cure by being as true to life as you possibly can when it comes time to forward testing. You take a bunch of losses early on and you drop down to 47,000, 46,000, keep going. Let the whole thing play out. Losing streaks happen all the time. You know, years just happen to come early. You know, you're freaking out about losses instead of being realistic about losses. All right, let's dive deeper into this. First off, we play the long game here. How many times have you heard me say this? Do not react to losing streaks because losing streaks happen a lot when you're playing the long game. Only weak short game players react when they have a string of losses. Let those losses happen and keep going. And then realize too, a lot of times when you get those wins, even those good size wins, they're often just there to cushion the losses you're about to take down the road. If you have built your account up to a 10% return, for example, after a few months, that's awesome. But that doesn't mean that you're on pace for a 40% return year after year. What has a much better chance of happening, a much more realistic chance of happening, is you're going to lose all of that 10% and you're going to go back down to where you started. And when that happens, it's really going to suck because you felt like everything you built just came crashing down. But when you think that way, you're not playing the long game. You have to understand that a lot of the wins you get are just there to cushion the blow of the losses. And over time, once you play the long game, everything is going to end up working in your favor and you're going to get good results. But there will be lots of ebbs and flows in between. And like I said at the beginning of the video, how you react to these ebbs and flows is going to determine everything. What you cannot do here is make changes to your system that you spent all that time testing 
just because you're taking losses right now. This was a really big mistake that I made. And I made the mistake on the big stage when it was real money time. I thought, all right, I'm going to be like Floyd Mayweather. I'm going to be real fluid. I'm going to be a counter puncher. And if things don't go my way, I'm going to make a little tweak here and there. And it's going to make everything better. I'm going to react to what the market gives me. And I'm going to come out better for it. This was a really, really stupid move. The best advice I can give you when you're taking losses is to change nothing. Take it like a man. Even if you're a woman. I mean it. This, this phrase has nothing to do with gender. What it means is these losses, these blows, these shots are inevitable. All right? You just have to absorb them and move on. You know, the people who really win in this game know how to absorb the shots, take a lot of punishment, and still come out on top. Once we actually start trading, we don't sit there and try to avoid them. All of that loss avoidance came in the testing phase. Got it? That's where you put in the work and you do everything you can to avoid losses so they don't come up later. But once they come, they're here. You can't do anything about it. And the worst thing you can do is become reactive instead of proactive. Now, this is so much easier said than done. That's why I want you to come back to this video when these things start happening. You have to realize that right now, it's time to just put your head down and power through it. Losing streaks happen. Let them happen. All right? Winning streaks happen too. You got to let all those things happen. What you don't want to do is just say, hey, I'm going to take a break from trading. Or say things like, hey, the pound dollar is killing me right now. I'm going to chill out on the pound dollar until it starts moving again. These are terrible ideas. I did a podcast on losing streaks. So I've already talked about this a little bit in the past. I'm going to link that one down below too. But that was one of the big things I pointed out, especially in the blog version of that, is don't ever, ever adopt this mentality because it's natural chaos theory. Order, which is consolidation and things not moving, into chaos, which is when the market trends and moves, and back again. So what's going to happen if you decide to take a break or take a break from a certain pair is you're going to miss that big run because that big run is right around the corner because of chaos theory. And if you hit that big run, what it is probably going to do is knock out most of, if not all, of the losses you just took. If you don't allow this to happen, you're going to take the losses refuse to participate in the big win. And now you haven't knocked any of those losses out. They're still there. And you missed that big run. Now what are you going to do? When you were back testing and all your results were awesome, you didn't do this. Every single time your system gave you a huge win, you said to yourself, yes, I was part of that. I got that. Those pips are in my pocket. No matter how many horrible losses happened before it. So why are you going to change that now? Back when you were testing, you took part in all those big runs, and now you're not? But I know exactly why all of this happens. Stop me if you've heard this one before. You're running into a currency pair or maybe an entire market, depending on what's going on, that is doing nothing but chopping around and knocking out every single one of your trades. And you're getting freaked out so bad that you have all of a sudden become the biggest short game player in existence. Because in your catastrophic, diseased mind, you are thinking now, oh my God, it's just going to be this way forever. And if I keep trading, it is going to take my account down to zero. I better do something about this. Yes, you should do something about this. What you should do is stop being an idiot. Because that's not real. This is real. It's only a matter of time before the market starts trending again. And if you don't allow it to do that and keep right on trading and keep powering through it, this is also going to be a reality too. You've already built a system, supposedly, that keeps you out of most losses. So trust it and let it do what it does. Allow it to prevent you from those losses as best as it possibly can and make sure that it's always there 
when those big runs happen. Losing streaks are not your fault. They are invariable. They are just things that happen. Missing out on a big run because you were too chicken to be a part of it and you didn't let your system play out is absolutely your fault and your end result is going to reflect that in a big way because these can be 200, 300, 500 pip runs that are no longer going to show up on your account. Do not let this happen. Power through it. All right? You just can't be reactive in this game. You don't get a choice. Reactive trading does not work. The time to be reactive and tweak things was in the testing phase. Not now. If you try to go outside of your system and don't let it do what it does and try reacting to what the market is giving you, you're going to lose. It, it, you're always going to lose more money this way than you would be if you just sit back and let the system do what it's supposed to do. You're not letting your proven system, you know the one that was proven to work no matter what the overall market conditions are, you're not letting that system do what it's supposed to do. You're getting in the way of it. You're letting your emotions dictate your next move instead of your proven system dictate your next move. And as a result, you are failing the long game. There's no better way to fail the long game than to make all these little short-term reactions just because things aren't going your way and you're getting scared. The best way to take those emotions out of the equation is to do this right here. Just let it do the work. You are married to this thing just like a real marriage, for better, for worse. All right, let it do what it's going to do, and you're just going to have to see if it works. Because once you get in the real game, everything has to stay the same. Everything has to stay consistent. We've learned, if we've learned anything by now, if you deviate from this, you're going to lose. This is not the time to change anything. You've proven it backwards. You've proven it forwards. We know what happens when we inject ourselves into the mix. Everything goes south all the time. Or long term it does. We know that for sure. Um, but losses are just going to be losses. All right, You're going to encounter a lot of them. If you power through them, you're going to be fine. If you react to them, you're going to lose. All right. And by the way, while we're here, when it comes time to choosing a prop firm or a client or multiple clients that are right for you, do not let them give you short term price targets. Don't let them give, don't let them give you price targets at all. Um, because that is a sure sign of a broker or a client that you do not want to be a part of. These people do not understand the ebbs and flows of trading. These people certainly don't understand the long game. And the long game is the game we play. In the end, it's what everybody plays, right? And don't let anybody deter you from playing this game, especially the people you're trading for. Those people might be a good fit for crazy, hyperactive day traders, but for no-nonsense Forex traders, those types of people and places are just not for us. Your job is to make people or firms very happy in the long term. Their job is to allow you to do that. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. In conclusion, take the testing phases very seriously, more seriously than you're probably taking them right now. I had outlined how to do that because losses are going to happen and you don't get to change things on the fly. You don't get to tweak things on the fly. That is called reactive trading. That is what we avoid. So because of that, you better make sure that the testing you have done is thorough and is proven to work in the long term because you have to be ready to go systematically and emotionally before you go pro. The worst thing you can do is not have these two things completely locked down before it's showtime. That is why I'm making this video now as opposed to later. I want to give you guys time to get this stuff ready. Some of you might be sitting there acting like there's not going to be this big emotional hurdle once you actually start trading real money, especially for other people. And I promise you, no matter how emotionally strong you think you are, it is going to be there and it is going to hit you. And when it does, come back to this video. So you can get your head right and jump right over that sucker. And as is always the case, traders, it always comes down to the three commandments of trading psychology. Trade your system, stay the fuck out of the way, and repeat. So simple, yet so complicated. But repeat these to yourself all the time. Put it up on your wall. 
make it your wallpaper for your desktop or your laptop or your phone. Do whatever you have to do because I don't want all the work you have put in up until this time to be in vain. All right? Now, nobody goes this deep into trading psychology. Um, nobody puts it in a way that everybody can understand. So if you like this and you want more of this, you know what to do. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Don't miss anything. Whether you agree with my approach to technical analysis or fundamental analysis, things like this ring true for just about everybody. And I want to make sure this message gets out there to as many people as possible because I really think it can help. Spoken from somebody who has been there and who's made all these mistakes himself and as a result has had a much higher learning curve than you're going to have to have. That fact alone should get you really excited. So you know what to do. Put in the work. Test thoroughly. Do all the things you have to do now so you can hit the ground running later. And that later is coming sooner for a lot of you. So make sure you are 100% ready and go get it.